Jump scares have been a part of cinema since the dawn of, well, cinema, and it was only a matter of time before this shocking technique made its way into the realm of video games. However, some of the most petrifying moments have occurred in games that aren't necessarily classified as scary themselves. And in a way, jump scares in non-horror titles have the potential to be more terrifying since we don't see them coming. I'm Cy for WhatCulture.com, these are the 10 biggest jump scares in non-horror video games. Number 10, Lurker Shark, Jack and Daxter the Precursor list. Legacy. I know what you're thinking, how can anyone find Jack and Daxter scary? Just look at the cutesy graphics. It's not exactly Dead Space, is it? That goes double for the original, since Jack and Daxter the Precursor Legacy really leaned into the cartoony vibe. But the second you took a dip in the water, it became a horror show. After spending a couple of seconds in the ocean, a lurker shark appears out of thin air and begins hunting you. If you don't get back on dry land quickly, this monstrosity will gulp you down in one go. Now, insta-kill fishes are nothing new in video games. Let's not forget about the likes of Big Bertha in Super Mario Bros. 3, but the Lurker Shark is far more spine-chilling. Not only does he come out of nowhere, he's indestructible. So long as you're in the ocean, he's always on your tail, and if you think you're safe from this behemoth while in shallow water, you're in for a rude awakening. Like the summer blockbuster shark himself, the only way to avoid being turned into fish food is to stay out of the water entirely. Number 9, Dead Hand, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Being a fantasy series, The Legend of Zelda regularly incorporates supernatural elements, including ghosts and zombies. Despite their creepy aesthetic, foes like these usually come across as spooky rather than outright scary. But anyone who played Ocarina of Time will remember how they nearly jumped out of their skin when they encountered Dead Hand. As you enter his lair, you'll find yourself in a sealed room with a group of elongated arms jutting from the ground like cornstalks. The instant you go near them, one of the malformed limbs grabs you, pinning you to the spot. At the same moment, the boss music starts blaring letting you know the battle has already begun and that's just jump scare number one. Once you try to wriggle free you'll hear a churning moaning sound from behind and as the noise becomes noticeably louder you'll realise something is approaching you. As the camera swivels around you'll get your first glimpse of the mini boss dead hand which is sure to initiate jump scare number two. Even though the fight itself is relatively easy this bloated deadite's haunting appearance and petrifying introduction is something that's sure to stick with you indefinitely. Number 8, The Reaper Leviathan, Subnautica. Because the ocean is mostly unexplored, many zoologists believe there could be as many as 10 million organisms underwater yet to be discovered. Since we have no idea what creatures could be lurking down there, you can understand why the sea can be a very frightening place. Few games encapsulate the horrors of the ocean better than Subnautica. Throughout your adventure, you must explore the bowels of this underwater world to find supplies. Although Subnautica is classified in the action-adventure genre, things move into the horror category when you encounter a creature miles below the world's surface. Because of its distinctive roar, you can always tell when this squid-like colossus is nearby. If you get too close, the mighty cephalopod will envelop you in its tentacles, condemning you to a deep sea grave. When you've seemingly evaded the beast, you are bound to breathe a sigh of relief, believing you've just had a narrow escape. However, seconds later, this marine monster drags you back with its many limbs, this time giving you no chance to slip away. Tragically, you are forced to stare at its leering face before succumbing to your grisly fate. Number 7, Ghost on the Mountain, Grand Theft Auto 5. Grand Theft Auto 5 may have a lot of adult content, but it's not regarded as scary. Violent, yes, gory, of course, disturbing, absolutely, when it comes to Trevor in particular. But at the end of the day, GTA 5 isn't considered spooky, save for one moment. Soon after launch, there were rumours circulating that players could encounter a ghost on Mount Gordo's Peak. Because the series has inspired many baseless myths over its tenure, many gamers were wary about this dubious claim. When these rumblings wouldn't go away, a lot of players ventured to Gordo to see this supposed spectre for themselves. As the night sky sets in atop the mountain, you wait for something out of the ordinary to occur. After 11pm though, your scepticism in the video game paranormal may start to dissolve as you start hearing voices on the wind. At first, all you can do is make out garbled whispering, but over time the voices devolve into aggressive shouting. These noises can be so distracting you mightn't immediately notice a ghostly woman has appeared on a rock ledge. Her presence throws you for a loop since the apparition manifests herself without sound or fanfare. Because of her slack-jawed stare and chalk-white eyes, you need to be made of stern stuff not to shriek the first time you see this spectre. Number 6, SAX, Metroid Fusion. 
Metroid Fusion opens with Samus Aran being infected with an X parasite, leaving her critically ill. As the X spreads through her various suit, Galactic Federation scientists have Samus's armor surgically removed in order to save her. After the bounty hunter recovers and prepares for her next mission, the X in Samus's disposed armor gains sentience, taking on the appearance of its former host. This clone, which is called SAX, is armed with all of the various suit's upgrades, making her virtually unstoppable. When Samus is alerted that SAX is hunting her, she's told not to engage with her doppelganger under any circumstances. Because you know you can't defeat SAX, your heart jumps into your throat every time your devious double appears. Anytime you hear those ominous footsteps echoing across the corridor, you stand deathly still even when you know SAX can't see you. After your callous clone leaves, most players remain motionless for a solid minute just to make sure she's not coming back. It may seem paranoid, but this level of caution is understandable. If SAX spots you, there's a very good chance you'll end up as a stain on the wall within seconds. Number 5. Crocodile – Far Cry 3 Far Cry 3 introduced many key features such as crafting, experience points and skill trees, but this threequel established another important and petrifying element. To our very own Andy Murray they are flatties, but the rest of us mostly call them crocodiles. Since the story takes place in the swampy archipelago of Rook, there are man-eating reptiles lurking around every stream and river. Anytime you have to pass through shallow water, you run the risk of ending up in a croc's belly. What's worse is how you never see them coming. These semi-aquatic beasties blend in perfectly with lily had patches, making them almost invisible to the naked eye. Every time you pass through floating vegetation, your whole body seizes up, knowing your life might be extinguished any second. Even though you should always be wary while in the crocs domain, they still catch you off guard since the overgrown lizards leap at you with zero warning. Now it's not necessarily a death sentence if a crocodile nabs you, by mashing the display button you can stab them, giving you a chance to escape. But players become so hysterical after seeing the crocodile, they don't press that button in time, allowing the snarling carnivore to turn them into chum. Number 4. The Eel, Gris in this deeply underrated title, you play as a young girl who must bring colour back into her dying world. One distinction that makes Gris stand out is the fact that it's one of the few side-scrolling platformers without enemies, except for one. While solving puzzles and forging new pathways, you are constantly pursued by a malevolent shadow who intends to envelop the planet in permanent darkness. Each time you bring another colour back to the world, you are sure to incur the wrath of this nebulous entity. In one section, your adversary chases you through water while in the guise of an enormous eel. Things are cut pretty tight, but you manage to avoid ending up within the confines of this wicked serpent's teeth. After you continue to navigate through this labyrinth, you find a tunnel at the very bottom, seemingly leading to the exit. And as you approach it, the eel bursts through, snapping its jaws, giving chase once more. Because the creature had left you alone for two minutes at this point, the player falls into a full sense of security, making you completely unprepared for its re-emergence. Number 3. The T-Rex – Batman Arkham City your first encounter with Man Bat in Batman Arkham Knight is the best jump scare in the series without question. It's such a defining moment it's easy to forget how Rocksteady's superhero series has quite a few gotcha moments, most notably in Batman Arkham City. After the Penguin apprehends Mr. Freeze, the Dark Knight heads to the National History Institute where the cryonic scientist is supposedly imprisoned. As Bat makes his way around the trophy room, a Tyrannosaurus Rex lunges towards our hero, letting out an almighty roar. Luckily, this prehistoric creature is no danger since it's merely an animatronic. But that doesn't stop the Jurassic Predator from scaring the crap out of you. While playing a Batman game, you're expecting thugs, clowns, and maybe a zombie or two, but not a freaking dinosaur. If you're familiar with Batman comics, you'll recognize this encounter is a nod to the T-Rex robot that Bruce Wayne keeps in the Batcave for some reason. But even if you are well versed in the Caped Crusaders lore, it doesn't stop this moment from making your hair stand on end since it comes out of nowhere. Number 2. The Piano – Super Mario 64 while trapezing around Big Boo's haunt in Super Mario 64, you'll have many spine-tingling encounters. The sentient library books, Big Boo facing you on the merry-go-round, the coffins trying to crush you. Ironically, the scariest part of this spooky mansion isn't the ghosts, the scuttlebugs, or the giant eyeball, blech. It's the piano. To obtain one of these stages' power stars, you need to collect eight red coins that are strewn around the level. If you walk into the first door on the left after entering Big Boo's home, you'll spot a solitary red coin in the corner of the room. Because the room is unoccupied, for an innocuous piano, you dash towards the coin without a care in the world. Suddenly, the piano starts crawling towards the Italian plumber, opening its lid to reveal its gnashing teeth. You came into this stage on the lookout for ghosts, a possessed piano was not necessarily on your list of things to get involved with. And number one, the Creeper, Minecraft. 
Don't be deceived by Minecraft's innocent design. Mojang Studios' sandbox title is loaded with countless eerie mobs. While you're mining for material and crafting structures, you can be interrupted by phantoms, vindicators, and endermites. Of course, the creepiest character is the fittingly named Creeper. Their green skin, we have to assume it's skin, allows them to camouflage into the grassy fields, making them hard to spot. And because they don't make a peep, you have little indication when a creeper is nearby, making it difficult to avoid such an encounter. All Minecraft players dread the creeper since he'll pursue anyone within a 16 block radius. And if you get too close, he'll explode, killing you and potentially destroying the structures you spent hours crafting. Worse yet, if you get struck by lightning, a creeper becomes a more terrifying prospect since a charged creeper has a bigger blast radius, meaning he can cause even more death and destruction. What's most impressive about the creeper is that it never fails to freak players out. Some jump scares only catch you out the first time, but even after a decade, Minecraft players are left on edge any time they see this silent revenant marching towards them. And that's the list. Let us know what you thought of this video down in the comments below, which of these jump scares got you the most, and of course let us know of any other frights in not necessarily spooky games. Make sure you like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe and hit that notification bell, head over to whatculture.com for more content on the daily. I've been Cypher Whatculture, and have a good week.